Are you surprised, though, that Turkey was able to achieve economic growth above 7% in the latest print that we got out yesterday, considering that we are seeing such weakness in the currency? Well, the base was very low, obviously, because of COVID. Erdogan has elections coming up in 18 months. He's desperate to get the economy going because his opinion polls ratings are very low. Uh, and they've been stimulating the economy. Uh, but the downside for that, as you mentioned, is very high inflation. The print you mentioned, the consensus, I think 20.7 uh, you mentioned, that's very unlikely to be the low point. I mean, I think we're very likely to see high inflation. And, and what we know is that high inflation ultimately stalls uh, real GDP growth over the longer term. This is not good for Turkey long term. Uh, he's running the economy extremely hot. And uh, if you're not willing to slow the economy down with, with rate hikes, you, know, you, get, you may get short periods of very high GDP growth. But ultimately, the economy is going to come down to earth with a pretty big bang. Uh, and you see you know, the downside is all this exchange rate. Week. Imagine the currency has lost half its value this year. Unbelievable. I mean, this is an extraordinary movement in the currency and the ramifications will be higher inflation and ultimately lower growth. All right. Uh, just to play devil's advocate, though, uh, when we got the latest uh, growth numbers, it showed that uh, manufacturing was strong, as were exports. Obviously, uh, a weaker currency is going to be a boon for exports uh, out of Turkey and, of course, uh, people being able to buy those products uh, cheaper. That's not enough to support the economy uh, going forward overall? Well, it does. It, it, it can do. But I think the extremity of the exchange rate moves is causing massive disruption. We're hearing already of, of uh, panic buying of certain products, shortages. That's probably going to cause supply disruptions. Uh, in the, and, and what is really worrying at the moment is this level of depreciation, this pressure on inflation. Uh, the concern is that it causes a broader uh, lack of confidence in the banking and financial system. And would you see runs on banks? I mean, that's the kind of game change of Turkey. So far, we haven't seen that. If that happens, Turkey's ha uh, heading for a major systemic crisis. And ultimately... That's not good for growth.